Hello, Gary here of Corsetro.com, and today we're going to pick the winner of the Gorilla mascot design. All right, so we had some pretty good entries this time. We didn't have quite as many simply because this was a more difficult challenge. So I admitted that even at the beginning, I knew it was going to be tough, but I, you know, still about 29 of you entered. I got about 32 total entries. So it's still pretty good, all things considered. So what I want to do first is switch over here to the monitor. And before I begin, I just want to preface, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you something pretty interesting uh, that I've been working on in terms of a course coming up here, possibly within the next two weeks. All right, so right now I have uh, everything sorted by highest rating first. And again, just to preface this, these ones, you know, there's only a few percentage points that separate like the top six or seven or so. So the person that's number one doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to win. Okay, so right here, this one, I really liked, you know, stylistically, uh, it's very unique. I think that's probably its strongest point is the fact that this is a unique, more abstract representation of a gorilla. Uh, it also has, you know, a good kind of feeling that's coming from it. So it elicits the right type of emotion for a sports mascot logo design. Uh, there's just a few small areas like this little area right here to the right side of this bottom portion of the mouth. Uh, that's, you know, when you get that, when you scale that down, that's gonna get lost. I would just completely get rid of that. Uh, just as some small, like I would say the same thing right here for the, for the nostrils. I would completely get rid of these highlights right here as well. Um, just a couple other areas that don't quite match, you know, this one's styled a little bit close together, this uh, sort of lighter gray portion, and this one is done in a better manner. Things are separated, but just small things like that. Overall, very good entry. Um, over here, I really like this one, you know, stylistically as well, it's very unique. It has its own personality. Uh, it seems like kind of more of like a throwback to more of like a retro style. Uh, at least that's that's the, the hint that I get from it. Uh, like a retro style, you know, sort of gorilla um, mascot design. Uh, but definitely like this. This too did have some of the small details that you probably could get, you know, just completely remove. Uh, because again, they're going to get hidden and kind of pixelated at smaller sizes, like down here, uh, over here as well. Over here, I like this one. This is just a really nice, solid entry. A little bit bland in terms of contrast, but I... I still really like it. Um, you know, again, this is like, this is at sixty two percent. These ones are at sixty four and sixty six, but you know, really, they're very even uh, in, in terms of execution. And actually, in terms of execution, this one's a little bit better because it doesn't have those tiny little artifacts that uh, aren't necessary. So this one is good as well. Um, looking at this one. I really like this one in terms of, you know, having the right attitude, perfect. Uh, there's just large areas of kind of white space over here on the top of the head, over here to the side. I think just in relation to all the detail that's happening here with the face, uh, it's kind of just thrown off a little bit with these large, broad shoulders. You know, it feels just too unnecessarily large. Uh, I would probably have just probably stuck with kind of the head and not and not leave the the trapezoids and shoulders uh, as a part of it, but very good entry nonetheless. Uh, over here, not bad entry as well, coming down here. Uh, this entry kind of feels like this one up here in terms of color at least and contrast, but uh, still good. Uh, and then coming down here, this is more of like a stylized version. This one actually has a lot of potential, but the contrast is killing it. You know, there's just a lot of uh, darks here but you can see there's really good shading work in here. Uh, but the problem is you just can't see it, you know? So I really like to see maybe a, a lighter color here so that these outside edges can really stick out more. Uh, but other way, uh, that's all I'm gonna do in terms of reviews. Uh, so the one I'm going to choose as the winter is, where is it at? Okay, no, that was unnecessary. Uh, right here, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, Anaya or Anea or something like that, Anea. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna choose you as the winner. So you'll go ahead and receive free access to our Android app design development course and free access to the upcoming design challenge course. Okay, so here's the part where I wanna talk about uh, the upcoming course that I have coming 
planned. And it's not the design challenge course that I alluded to before. Uh, actually, it's gonna be a course that's all about how to make money being a digital asset designer, specifically for creating mockups. So as we see here, I have myself, <laughs> uh, where's the original? Oh, uh, there was an original picture where it's just me and the, the, the photograph I took. Uh, and then I edited everything out and we do a bunch of, bunch of cool jazz in terms of uh, displacement maps. And actually, if, I, I won't show you. Um, I was gonna show you real quick the, the actual PSD file, but we use smart object layers, uh, a bunch of adjustments. Actually, let me show you the original real quickly if I can find it, footage. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, it was like a picture like this right here. It just look, looks like crap, but we're really able to do a lot of work with it, turning into something that looks a, little, a lot more professional. Uh, here's just showing it with different backgrounds. And what's really cool is any type of uh, asset you put on here, like a logo or a t-shirt design, will automatically morph with a displacement map based on the shirt here. And same thing down here. I took the all these images are photographs I took myself and I, I'm gonna teach you how to exactly how to make these and sell these and make money with them on the various digital asset websites. I uh, also, not just t-shirts, corporate identities. So this is one I created from scratch and this is the original photograph. And then this is it afterwards. We completely create a custom adjustable, customizable background right here. And there's a lot of work that really goes into it aside from just cutting things out. Um, of course, everything uses smart object layers. And over here, we have a real simple monitor one. So this is the original picture right here with me and my foot right there. It looks like garbage, of course. And then we convert it to something more like this with a smart object layer. What's also cool, we use smart filters to create blurs as well as duplicating the smart object layer to create this sort of automatic flare, not flare, but reflection. And of course, customizable backgrounds, very easy. And then also tattoos, like so how to create your own tattoo mockup. So people, you know, designers, uh, tattoo artists, uh, mobile app designers, if you're, you're, at, you're doing mobile mockups uh, or identity designers, uh, our t-shirt designers all download these things like crazy and many of them pay money for them as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make money and also generate emails. So if you make these free, for instance, you can generate hundreds of thousands of emails from which you can then monetize. So the whole point of this course coming up, uh, these are, again, the projects that we're gonna be covering is to A, show you exactly from scratch how to create these mock-up templates. Uh, for t-shirts, identities, monitors, and tattoos, and B, how to sell them as well. You know, because it's nice, you know, it's one thing to be able to create, uh, you know, be able to create these mock-ups, but if you don't really know what to do after you've made them in terms of marketing, then it's not really worth having. So anyhow, that is it. That would be out in probably about uh, two weeks. I'm hoping less than two weeks. So <clears throat> look out for that. All right, so, I. Uh, Look out for a new design challenge, maybe in the next three to four days. You're free to submit uh, ideas. I think we're gonna do a more uh, user interface based challenge this time around. And yeah, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.